bottom tier? Everybody wants to start at the bottom. Okay, okay, we'll start at the bottom. So, uh, in the final version of the game, before Aftermath, right? Uh, here's who I think is bottom two. Uh, actually, I'm also gonna remove this. I actually don't, don't believe it's a B tier. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna rename it A minus, right? So, as my A minus tier, I actually think if there was a worst character in the game, it would be Shao Kahn, 100%. Uh, it's not that he's bad, it's just that there are certain things that aren't complete about him that other characters have. It's not that he's unviable or anything, but he he takes a lot of work other than most characters. So I believe he's the worst character in the game, but he's still A minus because he has a bu all the buttons and everything you need so far. Um, then I would put Sub-Zero as A. Uh, online, don't get me wrong. Online, this character is S. Like this character is, like I said, listen to me. This character online is like right here, all right? Like 100%, which is why I duck every single last Sub-Zero player, like, like, free like I, I duck every single sub-zero player online you got me fucked up if you think i'm playing this character online but offline uh i, I believe he i believe he's bottom five and actually i can give a real i can give a real explanation a lot of my explanation is going to go back into the game i'm not gonna i'm not just gonna sit here and talk about it right i'm gonna actually demonstrate it because i can Tundra. so here's why i genuinely believe uh he is a tier so yeah we can actually just go over Snowman. his three variations is there a food court? Like I said, like you have to understand, like look at look at my tier list. Just because I believe he's bottom five, look look at the tier list one more time. Look at the ranges that I've put the characters in. Alright? So even though I think he's bottom five, he is still an A tier. Do you understand? I believe he is bottom five, but he's still an A tier character. Understand there's a reason why he's an A tier character, even though he's bottom five, he's an A tier character, alright? Relax. It's okay. Cause A tier is not good in this game still. <laughs> so anyways. So, my biggest issue with him is like I said before, for the way this game is played, oftentimes you need good mids and neutral to play the game, right? Or really good highs, right? So don't get me wrong. This is an O oh, compared to the other 14 frame highs in the game. Uh, for example, uh, Johnny Cage or like Collector or like even like Joker and Cetrion, their highs are either 14 frames or faster and they go even farther, right? But with that being said, uh, that's like his, one of his primary hit confirms. Uh, the second thing that I think holds him back is that he has an 8 frame Punisher. If he had a 7 frame Punisher, I think he'd be a little bit better, but he has an 8 frame Punisher. So, uh, a lot of things get to, you get to get away with. The, the, the one thing I do think is really good about him are his pokes. I think his pokes are godlike, and I think he has one of the best uh, throw games in the entire game, like for free. Uh, like his fourth throw game is sick. All right? But, in terms of how he uses his mids, I might consider his uh, back three and mid, it's like okay, right? Like, that's just like his only good mid, essentially. And it's it's pretty easy to get off, like, once he uh, gets close enough. But uh, his second good mid is like back two, if you just throw it out. So it, it's, it's just a nice way to just throw it out. A nice move to just throw out. I believe it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Really good anti air, but other than that, he's rather weak on defense, right? Uh, one of his biggest issues is that, for example, here, uh, yeah, I'm doing the mirror, right? And this is something that people don't expose enough. Is that this, this also applies to Noob Cybot, all right? So, pay attention, all right? So, we'll do get up mode on. We'll do yeah, wake up chilled heal, right? So, one of the bigger problems that he has is that when you knock him down, it's really easy to expose that wake up. A lot of characters in the game can just do something like this. I, I'm not sure if he can do it. Hold up, let's find out. Let's find out if he can do it or not. I'm gonna find out really right now. Can you, can you low profile it? Can you, I don't. I don't. Think, I don't think Sub-Zero can low profile it. Let me try a kid that can actually low profile this. <laughs> I'm still gonna pick Sub-Zero. But oh, they both the hitbox. Oh, they fixed it. Oh, okay, 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 whatever. All right, if they fixed it, then whatever, whatever. I swear, I still low profiled it with fucking. Uh, Cassie Cage at one point. 
Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Because I, I actually thought that was bad. Yeah, he actually needed that. Um, but yeah, don't get me wrong. I believe he is A tier. Um, but some of his issues, uh, I think at higher levels, are what get blown up the most. Is my issue with him. Yeah, like there's some there's some characters like like Cetrion and like Cassie that can still low profile profile the fuck out of it, right? Uh, yeah, and Aaron too, yeah. But his movement is phenomenal. Like his forward movement is fucking sick. But my issue is, is he's a very easy character to just mash on. Like he can't, he doesn't have a good punishing game. Uh, if he does manage to punish you, yeah, obviously he gets good damage for it. But like having an eight frame in this game is actually sad times. Um, his pokes are like I said are, are like what make him okay. But the essence of playing neutral, he has a really hard time like fighting anywhere. Like that back one, like he has like no mids to check you with. Like he only, like this is like that's his best range. He has to either play throw strike game, which like everybody else already does, or you just die. Um, I do think his avalanche is mad good. I think it's his best variation out of all three of them, um, because you can just sit here and just fucking disregard neutral and have safe 50-50s if the opponent is not paying attention. But. In terms of like actually interacting with him in neutral, like he has nothing to hit you with, if that makes sense. Like he has to always go to you. And even in his second variation, like he's, he still always has to go to you. And he's very, very high risk. Uh, the avalanche does lower some of his uh, higher risk, like this becomes a lot more safer to do. Oh, sorry, I think, I think it's... Uh, what the fuck is he doing again? Uh, I, I, I didn't put it down. Thank you. Yeah, so this like minimizes some of his uh, uh, some of his risk, but and uh, it allows some of his safety. But I don't want to see this character get buffed. I don't, I don't want to see this character get buffed at all. Um, but uh, the only thing, like I said, that's really really good about him is, like I said, his four throw and his strike throw game. Like his strike throw game is like actually one of the best in the game, and. The reason why I say that is because of his forward too. So in this game, for a shimmy to be really effective, the magic number that you want is 19 frames. All right. So while I do, I am a firm believer that you should not get hit by his forward too. If he's just like, for example, like if he's uh, like mixing you like this, you should literally never get hit by his forward too ever. Like actually ever, because it's reactable. But with that being said. Um, what do you call it? Uh, if he does something like this, that's a shimmy. Like that's actually a shimmy. Like straight up, that's like one hundred and ten percent a shimmy. Uh, and it's the the ma it's the magic number to get you to twitch just enough to let go of block if you're trying to like OS grab tech with two and release. So the only way you should really be getting hit by this move is if they just fucking stick it out, right? Oh, you want me to react to it? All right. Fine, fuck it here. So we'll do. Just so I keep this consistent, we'll do jump in. So this is how I test reactions, right? And you jump in. Uh -huh, uh -huh, right? That's one play. We'll do another play. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. See, a little, a little wiggle to fuck with me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh shit. Oh, you would do a little the fuck with you, right? Well, just to fuck with you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm trying to button inputs off too. Um, I'm gonna reset on playback as random, and then we're going to disable the uh, button log. All right. So. Uh, one of the tricks to reacting to Sub Zero's overhead is to look at his sword, because he holds it for a couple of frames. If they were all individually, um, if they were all uh individually, oh yeah, you're, you're right, random hit and playback. If they were all individually uh different frames, that'd be a different story. But they're not. He pauses on some of his frames, and because of that, it's enough for you to be able to react. So do we hear? Oh shit! I got hit immediately. One sec. I got. I was looking at the fucking button log info. One sec. Alright, alright, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> I got hit <him>. fucking immediately. <laughs> I have 
these all at different times, too, like I said. These are all different times. Every single one of them are different times. See, all these are different timings. You just look at the sword. Ooh! Okay, yeah, yeah, you just look at the sword. Yeah, this shit is like, like, like it's reactable. I, I promise, I promise you, it's reactable. I am not capping. You just need to lab it. If the Sub Zero is trying to set play you, uh, it's fucked up. But, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If this character fucking. Uh, not the sound, just look, you, you literally just look at the animation because he pauses. Uh, he holds it down. Um, for sure. But, like I said, don't get me wrong. If this character is playing, if you're playing against this character online, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even gods like me bleed, alright? I'm gonna get hit by this 110%. But, other than that, like, to explain, to explain how his 42 works, and how things become reactable and unreactable, right? Look, right there, right? Watch this, right here. I'm gonna disable this real quick, right? So, when he, when he does 42, yeah, when he does 4 too, you look at the animations, right? You see how he's, when he's, like, holding that animation back for a second? You see how he pauses right there? That's enough to, because he's pausing in, in the exact same frame for a couple of frames, it gives you enough time to, what do you call it, uh, react to it. And like I said, this is not fuzzying, because I recorded each one of these to, uh, what do you call it? I recorded each one of these uh, to adjust the timing. I did not put them at the exact same timing, mind you. Like, and I, I can demonstrate it. Like, like play, uh, playback one. He's gonna like, like delay it. Like, he's just gonna delay it, just like I'm, I'm not blocking at all. He's gonna, de he's gonna delay it just like that, right? Okay, just, just look. I have him delay, delaying it. Oh, actually no. Play one. I have him doing it immediately. So one, I have him doing it immediately. Two, I have him delaying it. Two, he's gonna delay it. He's gonna delay it like, just like that. You see? And then three, he's gonna delay, delay and low it. Oh shit. I gotta record it now. <sighs> Alright, shit. I, got, I, I can't believe it. I gotta actually be re record this. So, three, I'll have him delay the low. Like that. Yeah, I believe the only way you should get hit by his 4 2 is either in footsies or. Uh, what do you call it? Well, he's doing it as a shimmy game, if that makes sense. Uh, cause as a, as a shimmy, as a shimmy, his forward two is fucking ridiculous. Um, and then here, we should have recording four right here. And the recording four should be delayed, an, an even more delayed low. Yeah, like, and an even more delayed low, right? So, if I'm doing this properly, like I said, I'm just looking at his sword. I'm holding down until I'm, I'm looking, I, I see a sword, just like that. Uh, but, um... Uh, like, I, I'm kind of a cheater, because my reaction time is 17 frames, but... <laughs> like, 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 my, 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 I top out my reaction frame at times at 17 frames. Uh, but... Online, no, you should 100% get hit by this move. Like, that move is unreactable online. Like, straight up, straight up. That's why I do not like fighting this character online. But you see me, like, I, I'm blocking this every time, like, he has yet to open me up, and I'm changing the timing. Yeah, yeah, but like that's the thing. Like when he starts throwing you, that's that's a little, that's a different story, and that's the only time you should get hit by his forward two. All right, uh, his forward two, but like that that makes sense because I just explained earlier that the magic number to shimmy somebody in this game, like for example, let's say he does something like that, right? Or he does like this. This, this right here is a real mix-up. Watch this. So this is a real mix-up, right? When he does something like that, or. That's a real mix-up, because if you're trying to tech, you're gonna get hit by the 4-2, because it is just enough to throw you off, but um, that's only because it's 19 frames. It's not even that it's an overhead, it's because it's 19 frames. So whether that was uh, a mid or not, it doesn't matter. You would get hit by that. You would have to guess in that scenario no matter what, because 19 frames is the magic number to get shimmied in this game from a mid, if that makes sense, right? Um, on a good day... If I'm like really nasty, I can actually react to all three options. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it just for, just for shit, shits and giggles. I'll do like that's my first recording, right? And then my second recording, I'll do oh, shit. My second recording, I'll do I'll do that. My third recording, I'll do oh, shit. I'll do that, and then on the fourth one, I'll do like a delayed one. Or delayed overhead, how about that? 
we get into the fucking views. Slightly, that was slightly delayed, alright? So, on a good day, I can actually react to all three options, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna try just to just see. I'm gonna see how many times I can get shimmy by the way. Ah! <laughs> yeah, one two is a good shimmy. One two is a good auto shimmy. But he gets like nothing from it. I'll take that all day. Like I actually will take that all day, fuck. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> this is how I laugh, like like OSing all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ridiculous, stream. Just face it. Just face it. I, I, I told you I can react. You guys think I'm cap stars. Oh! You, you guys think I'm cap stars, but, like, he can still mix it up. He can delay the timing and all. Then that's when his fortune starts getting scary when he starts delaying the timing with the fourth throw. That's when it's scary. But that's my, my philosophy is that he's taking a huge risk to auto shimmy you with that right and if he's gonna take that huge risk you might as well play a character which is like 90 percent of the rest of the cast that can auto shimmy you but for free like for safely but like he can like he can do it safely with one two but like he does it off of four two to get like a, a lot of level uh, a lot of mileage off of it but other than that his neutral like, is okay his damage output is okay um in the corner he can get really annoying but uh he gets mashed on a lot. That's my biggest issue. He gets mashed on a lot because he doesn't have like he doesn't have a lot of good mids to check you with. But other than that, uh, he's pretty good. Like I say, I, I still think he's eight tier. Like he, I 100% think he's eight tier. He's, I just think he's bottom five, but he's 100% eight tier. And then to follow up, who else would I think is an eight tier? Let me see. Let me see who else is an eight tier. I'm actually gonna put her. I actually think Sindel's also eight tier. Um, I think she's like like literally like one of the most okay characters in the game, like free. Uh, in terms of how she plays the game, I actually think it's pretty fair compared to like everybody else. I actually think one of the ways she plays is like mad fair. Uh, she her forward four can be mad annoying. Don't get me wrong, her forward four can be mad annoying, but uh, and her ex scream is also mad stupid. But a lot of characters kind of like like half the cast kind of neutralizes her game plan. If that makes sense, like. For the characters that have to deal with her, that shit is stupid. Like, that shit is mad stupid, right? But, uh... If you're a character that doesn't have to deal with that shit, like, which is, like, actually, like, half the cast, like, she straight up gets, like, smoked. Like, 100%. Um... And like I said, just, like, like you, you stream, you have to understand that there has to be a bottom five in this game, right? There's no way that this character is better than, like, all the other characters I'm going to list, and for good reason, because... Just because she's bottom five does not make her unviable, all right? I am putting her in A tier. Look, it is A tier, all right? I'm not putting... If it was C tier, all right, that's cap. That's 100% cap. Yeah, she has literally nothing special to offer but scream. And, like, she has to time that. Like, that's it, right? But she's okay at best. Like, she's legit okay at, uh, at best. Like, yeah, the lowest tier in this game is A. Every, every character, you can win a major with every single one of these characters by themselves. I am a firm believer of that. But, there has to be a bottom five in every game. That just that just is how it is. It has to be the bottom five. But for example, Skullgirls, uh, like, Eliza is the worst character. I mean Eliza in the game. She's the, considered the worst character in the game in Skullgirls. But she's S tier. Like, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Sindel's bottom five, but she, she's not. She's definitely not top tier. Like 100, she's not top tier. But she is really good still. Like you can win an entire major just using Sindel. Some of her shit's like mad stupid. Um, another A tier character I believe is Scorpion. Um, I think his nerfs to him are a little too much. Until I, I think he gets a little bit more safety. Uh, I think he'll always just be literally just a basic ass character at most. Like when they nerfed his air teleport to be a high, it's when he went from A plus to A. Uh, because of that, you're able to just sit there and just mash on him like all the time. Uh, granted, he does have good footsies, but like that's it. That's like 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 his footsies and his teleport is all that he has going for him. But there's nothing special about it. If that makes sense. When, like I said, when his teleport was actually like a, a high, that shit was old D. And that's when I believe he was A plus. But he's like okay, like he's like okay at best. He'll always be just okay at best. You can still win 
Like, an entire, guess an enti like all these characters I'm listing, you can win an entire major with. He's still A tier. He's still good. Like, really strong. Really strong. But I feel like compared to the other characters, he has to work a lot harder than a lot of other people. All right. And like I said, I'm I'm doing this tier list based off of, off of offline play. If you're only sitting here... Uh... If you're only sitting here thinking that my tier list is because of you guys playing online, you have to understand online and offline for this game are two different games. So, <laughs> so uh, that's why he's where he is. Because offline, like that, like these characters are like just not like an issue like at all. <laughs> um, and then let me see what characters we have here. I actually want to say that's it for A. I actually want to say that, yeah, I, I, I think I want to say that's it for A. Um, A plus, uh... A plus would probably be, like, if there was, like, an A minus, like... Sorry, not A minus. If there was, like, a, like an A plus minus, Scarlet would be, like, right in between. So, like, uh, fuck it, I'll put it right there. I'll put it right there. I do think she... I do think she's still underdeveloped. I 100% think Scarlet is still underdeveloped, but... Uh, I do think she does need a little buffs and making some of her gaps disappear, but she's still a really strong character. I think the character's, I personally think the character's mad stupid, especially when people start abusing the set play options that she has, I think are mad ridiculous. Uh, for example, here, I, 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 I'll explain, I'll explain, so, because Scarlet used to be one of my Scarlet mates. Scarlet Joe Manson. Uh, but I I, 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 still love Scarlet. I think she's mad fun. I think it's, I think this is one of the most fun characters I enjoy in this game. Like I think she's mad good. I personally believe that her best variation is still Blood Drive, but uh, her third variation is really good now. Her third variation is mad good. Um, I think her ability to heal is really good, and her back wave dash movement is really good. Uh, her pressure is really good. Um, but I believe to, in order to get the maximum capacity out of this character, you are not supposed to play, like right here, you're not supposed to play, always play right here, right? I think where she strives the best, actually, is when she has you right here. This situation right here, I think, is where she becomes one of the dumbest characters in the game. Because when she's on Blood Drive, here, I mean, I'll, I'll just change it so that you guys aren't like capping. Um, so I, I main Blood Drive, right? For Scarlet, I main Blood Drive. And I think one of the dumbest situations that she puts you in is when she has you right here, right? Because the gaps in her strings, Blood Drive gets rid of all of them. It like, fixes all the issues with her. Because EX Snowball allows her to establish pressure, if you're trying to sit there and duck or mess around with her, um, what do you call it, uh, gaps, if you will, uh, you will get interrupted, and you have to stop, and, like, she can start, uh, can start establishing mind games from that here, her combo damage output, uh, skyrockets, which she has you right here, the mind games she gets right here are sick, because if you're sitting there trying to, um, flawless block this, then when she's at this range, that's only negative one, and that, that, that she can hit you, or she can finish it, which is a mind game in and of itself, she can let her rock immediately, or she can even slow it down, or speed it up, for that matter, if you're trying to flawless block it, and just, fuck, just keep fucking with your timing, right? Um, and that is just always playing at this range, so even though she's negative two, like, she's in range to still hit you, and you're not in range to hit her. Because of that, one of her strongest skins is that it's a 10 frame high that jails and leaves her plus six. Like this leaves her plus six. When I and, and uh, both of them jail. So uh, when I discovered that, uh, it allows her damage output, especially in the in the corner, to skyrocket. Uh. KP, the reason why uh, you uh, so for example, let's say you're trying to sit here and flawless block it. I I I already know you can flawless block it, right, KP? Like I already know right here you can flawless block it, right? But you have to consider, you have you have to sit here and consider that when she's at this range, even though you're gonna flawless block that, what are you gonna do to hit me? Like what are you gonna do to hit me, right? Like whether I'm, whether I'm speeding it up or slowing it down, what are you gonna do to here to hit me? I'm right here. So if you flawless block, unless you're like you're like Garrus. 
Yeah, yeah, of course, you can duck, but like, whether you're false blocking or not, I'm still right here. And I'm- we're still back at square one. Like, you're not doing anything. Like, you're- like, like for example, like, right here, you're not doing anything in this range, right? And when you're just sitting there blocking, now you're starting to let her establish some of her pressure. Which is, this is actually an auto shimmy. I'm not sure if people know this, but like, um, this is uh, slow enough, um, essentially, to get the magic number. Because her standing, her when a character is crouch blocking, more often than not, her standing one whiffs, right? More often than not, when they're crouching, it usually whiffs. Okay, stance hold, please, please stance hold. Um, usually this whiffs, right? So if you walk up and you do that, that'll auto shimmy you. Because if it whiffs, you get that magic number to get that shimmy on them. Um, so that means you get to start throw looping them. And by the way, the reason why I say her game plan uh, is really strong in this uh, scenario uh, is... Uh, Deoxys, no, she can change the timing on it, and you get hit. I, I in my... Uh, thank you, Bianca. In, in my Scarlet video, I, I, I established why she's really stupid. Um, like, like, like I said, for example, like this in the corner... Uh, this is plus six and it jails, right? And if you get hit by that, by the way, it's a 10 frame high. And it's also a phenomenal footsie tool. So if you're sitting there just sitting here trying, trying to block that, she's gonna all day run this shit on you. Eventually, you have to duck. Otherwise, she's gonna start chipping you to death, right? Um, and if you get hit by that in the corner, like, look at this damage output. <laughs> oh, fuck, God, you fucking suck. Like, that's like mad damage for getting clipped by that. It also makes her back three have a really annoying mind game because back three into this jails, right? That's a true jail. If you try to, if you try to floss block the second hit of that, you will get hit by this, and that's safe. And that also spaces her out, right? There's no risk here. She's always going to be playing at her space game, right? That jails, and you cannot uh, floss block that, right? So. That allows her to start setting this up, which if you notice, look at where that leaves her in the corner, right? Look at where that leaves her, and then when she starts like fucking with you, she can start doing mind games like that, and like literally running this mind game all over again, right? And that jails, like, there's no no character in the game can interrupt this, right? There's not a, si not a single character in the game can interrupt this like, block strip, right? Uh, you cannot take the second hit of this, no. You cannot, um... Yeah, back three shot jails. You cannot duck that, right? And because of that, if you're trying to flawless block, you will get hit by that. 100%. You will get hit by it. Um, and uh, if you're establishing your pressure like this, because this is a plus six, this is a frame trap that you cannot interrupt. You can't jump nothing, right? So if you're establishing a frame trap like this, you can all day keep running that mind game. And eventually, if they're going to insist on blocking, you can run up, start throw looping them. Or even, like, you get hit by that. Like, that becomes a launcher in the corner, by the way. That's a meterless launcher in the corner. That's safe and spaces her out. She can also land that, too, by the way. <laughs> and the biggest thing that people don't understand about her that I think is really dumb is that she can cover every single wake-up in the game. Watch this. This is my tech. Um, that people still don't abuse. Uh, so... Watch this. I'm, I'm legit. I'm legit just going to set his wake up to random. Watch this. She has the true meaning of set play. I'm legit going to set his wake up to random because it doesn't matter. Watch this. Right? That was a punish, right? That was a punish on his back roll. I can punish that, as you can see. Like, this shit is like... She actually gets to legitimately set play you with this. If she tries to do anything, she actually legitimately gets to set play you. It covers literally everything. And because of that, because you are not allowed to wake up, because if you do, you're 100% you're getting hit, uh, it allows her to start establishing things like... Because you know you can't get up anymore, right? Sorry. My scrub is ridiculous. I would fuck mad top players with this character. My... <laughs> Like, she gets to start establishing shit like that. And just, like, Blood Ball being able to slow down and just adjust her zoning patterns, it's just really, really good. So, actually, fuck it. I, I'm a, this is my personal fucking, this is my personal tier list, and I personally think that Scarlet is A+. plus On the lower end. I think she's the lower end of A+, plus, but I think she is A+. Plus. I'm going to stick with that. 100%. So, we're going to continue with this. Um, 
But, anyways, uh, okay, so, 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 let's see, so we have our A+, plus. we got Katana in our A+, because High Orange is out here, that kind of goes without saying, especially the buffs to her and her Fearless buffs, so Katana is out here, um, I'll put, uh, Jade is out here, Jade is really stupid, um, uh, no, you guys, no, uh, listen, listen, all 2,200 of, of viewers of you in the chat room, like, legitimately, 99% of you actually suck at this game. No cap, like, actually no cap. 99% of you suck at this game. <laughs> so, like, I usually don't listen to your opinions. Like, no cap. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, <laughs> like, I, I am not afraid to admit that. I will, leg I legitimately will go to other communities, and I am, like, other players should play our games because you guys actually fucking suck at your own game. Like, it's incredible how much this community sucks at their own game. And they don't want to lap shit. It puts me on tilt. So, because of that, I lap shit. And, like, I don't listen to other people. Which is why my lowest placing has been second place all season. <laughs> but anyways, uh, with that being said, uh, I think she is... Uh, Jade is A+. Plus. Uh, I think she's mad stupid. Uh, let's see. Sonia is also A+. Plus. Um, I would usually put her S-, minus, but... Like, she kind of gets mashed on pretty fucking hard. I still think she's mad good, but she kind of gets mashed on, like, really, like, it's just annoying. Like, like one of her main game plans gets mashed on a lot, and one of her bigger issues is that she gets spaced out, too. Like, really, really heavily. Um, let's see. Um... I've already stated before, like, half the cast is an S tier, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna that's gonna be being put up there. My tiers are not ordered. My tiers are not ordered. I don't know. Only top five will be ordered, I believe. But even then, it's hard to say. Uh, actually, hold up. I'll establish an S minus. Actually, one more. Because I actually think there's, like, phases of S tier. There's, like, there's, like, phases of broke in this game. That like characters like do like so all these characters right here like they're like the fairest in my opinion out of all the baroque characters if that makes sense right but let me continue um uh i believe spawn is roughly right here uh i think i i, I think his spacing is really good and i think his damage is, i still think he's underdeveloped so my opinion can easily change on him but i just think all around he's just a plus. I think he's just solid. Solid. Good. Has a little bit of everything. He's really, really fucking good. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Then, I want to say... Baraka is the last person I would probably put an A plus. I would put him S minus off of his sheer damage output, but until they allow him to special cancel his forward 4 4 uh, I think he'll always be right there. I think he'll always uh, legitimately just be an A plus character. Um, his online, uh, so he's also one of those other online characters. That he's much stronger online. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. I'll demonstrate right here. Right. Daddy's girl. Fang face. Yeah. Here, here, here. Everything must go. Let me go back. So here's a here's also here's another example of how the game is different online and offline. So let me explain. Let me explain. So 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 this so one of his things that people don't like about Baraka, right, is that his auto shimmy is really strong and really safe, right? But watch this, watch this. Oh shit, I, I forgot to set it to a random playback. So you can always OS his, you can always OS his uh, shimmy before it throw offline. Even if he delays it or not, you can always just OS it. Like that. So, uh, when you essentially get rid of that mix-up, it's like, you, like, there's no mix-up. Off Online, that's a real auto shimmy, which is why I don't like fighting Baraka online, but... Um, offline and that is not a real auto shimmy. So, and then you just OS him with flawless block and shit like that. But, don't get me wrong, like, what makes him A+, plus is his damage output, like, 100%. Like, his damage output is, like, really, really stupid. Um, if that shimmy was real, I would say he's S-, but it's not. 
so he'll always be uh, at least uh, any plus. What you want to really send me with is um, a back three. Uh, that's what makes him really good, I believe. It makes him his back three. But he's like he's, he's solid. He has solid buttons, solid control. Like don't get me wrong, his holding is pretty good. His um, like, these are A plus characters. These are A plus, but like. The only thing that's inherently broken about him is his damage output, but in terms of neutral, like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. That's all. <laughs> uh, his other variations are really good. Like, all of his variations, I believe, are just A+. I, the only reason I say that is because I believe there's better grapplers in the game than him. Um, so, we're just, yeah, we'll just keep going up. So, I'll put Aaron Black in S-. minus. Um, the recent buffs to his back, too, make him really silly. Like, really, really silly. Uh... I think Barking Irons is his best variation, and I, I play the variation. I believe I recently picked back up Area Black, and I believe his second variation uh, is his best one because it literally establishes every single mix-up potential into uh, set plus. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna put him right here actually uh, because he actually does really well against the top tiers. I used to have him down here until they buffed him because um, literally, like one of my biggest uh, um, there was a bunch of issues that I used to have with him, and I recently buffed him, but. His, Barking Guy is, I think, 110% his best variation. Let me explain to you why. As, as somebody that mains him. And also, you get to check out my cool-ass Aaron Black costume. So. Aaron Black. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure you guys know. You know, you know I, I, I Snowman. Think it's back you yes, Bar Barking Guy is 110% better than um, his variation. 100%. 100%. I'll explain. I'll explain right here. And it's fucked up because back to slide actually becomes a real mind game in this with this character. Actually, let me explain. So, for example, right here, I'll make sure I'm in Barking Irons. Watch this, right? So, offline, right? We all t like to talk about. We all like to talk about uh, this being reactable offline. And that's true. Like this is 110% reactable offline. This, there's no mix-up right here offline. But, there's no mix-up when you're in the first variation. When you're in the second variation, all my moves become safe when I special cancel on them, right? I can slide, right? That's only negative seven. I can finish it. I can just say, fuck it. I can just finish it, like some savage. I can do back two slide. I can just let it rock. If you're scared of it, I can start establishing command grab pressure. I can do back two two slide. That's only negative four. I can even let it rock. Like, you have to actually guess there, because if you let me stagger this, then I can start, like, doing mind games like that, right? Here's the second dumb thing about him. I'm not sure if you, many of you guys know this, but watch this, right? This is Breakaway. Breakaway is, uh, Breakaway is on, all right? Watch this, watch this, watch this. You see that? You can't break that. You can't break that at all. So that means if he gets a whiff punish, he is not only taking 26% of your life guaranteed, he's also plus 33 on his lockdown, which means you... Actually, legitimately get set plated. Just to show you, breakaway is on. Breakaway is on. Just so you know. So you cannot break away from that. That is guaranteed. Yeah, that is 100% guaranteed. And because of that, and he's also plus 33. Every single time he throws you with this, he takes 17% of your life, and he gets a hard knockdown. And then he, he just literally makes you guess. Like you, you're 100% guessing there because he can just at any point just do that, and then you're taking 26% of your life. And like, God forbid that like, like. Here, I'll, I'll turn uh, Breakaway off because I just established that you can't fucking do this. God forbid that he doesn't walk up to you and do some shit like that to you. Like, or like you're trying to get some command grab and he does this. God forbid that fucking happens to you because watch your fucking life bar. Look at that life bar damage just because you guessed wrong there. You literally lost 60% of your life instantly right there. What I really like about this variation is that you get to hit affirm as well, which is what I really like about it. You get one hit hit confirms. So like your footsie tools get buffed actually. Let me demonstrate that, right? Watch this. Right, random. Random, oh, uh, sorry, random attack. Right, watch this. I get to hit confirm that, which is really nice because this footsie tool is godlike, but in his first variation, he doesn't really get nothing. He doesn't really get much from it. But in this, I get pressure mind games like that. And by the way, you see my defensive bar on the, on the side? Look at this, look at this. Watch my defensive bar. Let's say I use my defensive bar and then I, I command grab you. Look how much time this wastes. Like, I don't even realize, like, like uh, by the time I get to establish my mix-up, like, 
I didn't even realize it was gone. Or like, let's say I, I actually use it for like a combo start, right? Right? Why do I suck? <laughs> oh my god, please get hit. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, being able to get that is really nice. Uh, being able to do stuff like this is really nice. <laughs> like, especially if he has you in the corner. Uh, I believe he's able to do something like this. Oh, right, right. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I made this character, by the way, stream. I 100% I, I, I made this character. This character's not fun. It's kind of stupid. Uh, I, I'm, I'm bad at that link. You can, like, bash up and link that. Here, here. Stop fucking fucking. Ugh. Why do I suck? Ugh. He can land that, I promise you, he can land that. He can land that, I promise. <laughs> that works, that works. I just, gotta, I just gotta time it. You have to time it, uh, you, you have to time it, KP. It may be a little, maybe a little low like this, yeah. So, I used my defensive bar for that combo, and then it's just gonna come back mid-combo, and then I'm just gonna fucking snatch you again or make you guess. It's fucking sick. So yeah, I get to one hit hit confirm all my best footsie tools, like, I get to hit, hit confirm this, right? Oh my you see? Um, though I recommend you do for it too, because it's much safer. You get mind games from it too, you can just let it rip. You can literally just let it rip. Uh, I like one hit hic confirming it, like that. Because um, like just like sticking this out is sick, and like, just making them block it, it's, especially if they're waiting for that stagger too, you can just like poke them with it, right? Because it's negative three. Because it's negative three, just hitting them with it, you're plus eight if they get hit by it, and like it's like guess, like immediately, it's a guess. I'm gonna throw you on the ground, and then I'm, gonna, I'm legitimately just going to throw you. Like at this, at this part, I'm literally just gonna start throwing. You. This character's fucking sick. And then like all my conversions, like I actually just waste my bullets like as fast as possible because I'm just like the next time I fucking touch you, I'm gonna have this crushing blow ready off of literally anything. So, like bow, right? You guess wrong here, fucking get command grab, but like, he actually stopped playing. He's like, really sick. Punk, this is an easy ass one hit hiccup for him. What are you talking about? Anyways, that's why I believe he's S tier. I think the character's really silly, especially with the changes to his back, too. Alright, we're gonna move on. Alright, uh. I have Devora S minus. Uh, her set play is broken. Um, Deoxys, you, I'm sure you've seen it. Yeah. Her, uh, the reason why she's not any higher than this is because her neutral is well. It's okay. Uh, when she doesn't have meter, it's really hard to be safe unless you're in the first variation. But her set play in, uh, is really stupid. It is actually really stupid. It's like one of the dumbest in the game. Um, I, I, she's I 100% think that she's the hardest character in the game to play, but. I do believe that she is top tier. I think she's a, she's a rather top tier character. Um, here, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be working with S minus before I keep working up here for more S minus. I'm gonna put Jax. Um, his command grab shit is still. I actually think this character might be a little higher than this, but um, it just takes a good player to play him because his set play is also really stupid. Like his dude, like his set play, like never left. His set play literally never left. I don't know why people just cause they like all they did was nerf his fucking command grab uh, super, but uh fuck it, I'm 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 gonna put a mess. I actually think he's mad I actually think this character's mad broken still. I, I legitimately think he's mad broken. Um Yeah, yeah. So let me let me let me let me keep working with S uh, S minus. I, I keep saying uh I keep saying I was working with uh Especially like you guys don't you guys are not talking about his first variation getting buffed too. And this shit is stupid. Like the character gets stupid punishes on everything, and like he, he just he gets the he's like Garrus on crack. He gets to fucking sit here and set play the fuck out of you, build meter, or his arm mad fast, get good feints. Like your character's stupid. He only has a couple bad matchups, but he's still mad stupid. Um, this is like I said, this is an offline tier list by the way. 
Um, F minus, uh, I'm going to put Kano right there. I've already demonstrated what Dirtbag Kano can do to you and how he's legitimately not a fair character. Uh, Scar, you've seen it. I made you rage quit this game with this character. I'm, I'm glad. Um, this character actually unblockables you to death and it's fucking sick. Uh, but I believe Dirtbag is the best variation. Um... Uh, the mind game. Uh, I do think I do think it's one of the harder characters to play in the game, though. Um, and to demonstrate, hold up. Uh, I because I, I I also mean I also mean dirtbag. I'm not sure you guys know that either. I mean dirtbag. So let me show you what dirtbag is allowed to do, right? Wonder from down under. Thundercats. Dirtbag is super. Well, stupid, uh, super. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean him. He's one of my mains. So, he has- so Kano already has good movement. That was never an issue about him. His movement was never an issue, and his zoning was never an issue, right? But, watch this, right? So... I'm not sure if you guys noticed this. But look how much damage you actually lose for getting hit by acid. Watch this. Look at his life. Look how much life that actually is. Consider, that's 11% of your life for getting clipped by that. Just, give, just by getting clipped by a random ass acid, that's 11% of your life, right? He also, in his first variation, oh sorry, in his, uh, in his, uh, what do you call it, in his second variation, he gets to hiccup for him, one hey, hiccup for him shit, right? For example, let's say you're a character that can't duck this. If you're a character that cannot duck that, oh, this character's broken. This character's 110% broke. Um, because he's he's a character that grab loops you by the way. Both his four throws and back throws lead to grab loops. Like and you, he can he can keep you guessing like that, or he can sit here. And, oh my fucking god, Punk! What are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Thank you so much, Punk. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mute the fucking sound notification. Holy shit! Thank you so much, Punk. But <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so he gets to, as I was saying, he gets to fucking grab loop the fuck out of you, right? And on top of that, he gets to one to hick hick frame. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but when he activates this mode, watch this Kano Ball, right? I'm, I'm gonna establish myself to be full screen. So, so yeah, I'm full screen, right? Normal Kano, Kano Ball, Vegemite buff, Kano Ball. See how much faster that is? That becomes nine, oh, a frame faster, and he travels uh, farther. He also gets to move up with it as an anti-air, and it also armors projectiles, right? So, because of that, he gets to start doing shit like this. Uh, oh yeah, his basic kick confirms mid-screen. Um, they, they do, they do uh, massive amount of damage. Like, let me show you, let me show you. Stop, stop. Watch this, right? Kick confirm, right? Like, 22%, 20, that's guaranteed, 22% guaranteed, right? If it like knockdown pressure, right? Because like this is plus one, uh, mid that is plus one, a advancing mid that is plus one, where I already showed you what happens if you get hit by acid. And that's not to mention that he also gets to hit for a miss, which is nice. That's actually one of my favorite things. But he also gets to put the, uh, that acid on you. And when that acid's on you, immediately mind games and neutral start happening. Because you can start just doing shit like this, right? They made Molotov 38 frames to start up, which means. Like, after the 38 frame, that's leaving my hand. Whether you interrupt me or not, that's leaving my hand, right? And that means if you get clipped by that, that's unlockable, and that's all guaranteed, right? So he can establish free space control, even up close. Like, you're not, this is a no approach zone, which means I can start doing random shit, and you can't approach me while you have that acid on you. Otherwise, you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit, right? So, when you get hit by that shit, or I, I read you, right? Like, the damage output just immediately skyrockets, right? Like, that was like 40% of your life like, instantly. Right? Not to mention that sometimes you might be able to get your sweet spot, right? Watch. You have him set to auto block, right? So he's blocking that, right? If you get the sweet spot on his dirt bag, you can actually get massive amount of damage. Watch this. Yeah, that's like a sweet spot. That becomes unblockable. And then you have to take all of that, right? That, that means guarantee in the corner, like, like you're taking like all this damage. Like, you see how you're like all that dot damage is like piling up like so quickly. And especially that—that's not to mention. Let's say you're trying to flawless. Let's say you're trying to flawless block this, one, right? 
Because, like, this move is flawless block, though, right? There's a flawless block gap right there. But, you cannot flawless block that, so, and that's safe. So, if you try to, like, like look, just look how fast he gets deleted. Like, let's say you're playing against an opponent that's trying really hard to, like, like flawless block. Like, like, you can have to start establishing my game. Like, look how fast he got fucking melted, bro. Like, that shit is sick. And let's say they're trying to jump out from that sweet spot. Because you can actually jump out of that, right? You can actually jump out of that. But watch this. Watch what happens if you jump out of that. This is my favorite thing. This is why I think he's broke. For, especially for people that don't know. So, what's time to jump forward, right? So, let's say he's gonna jump forward, right? I'm sure he's gonna try to jump, jump forward out of it. You're dead. Good game. That's that, that's good game, by the way. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. It's literally, it's a good game. Good game. Good game. Oh shit! If I can hit him, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know exactly what we're wrong with it. Medium. Medium. Wait, did they nerf it? Wait, are y'all seeing that? Did they stealth nerf it? Paulo, don't tell me you stealth nerfed that. Oh, come on, Paulo. That shit is sick. Come on, what do you mean? Oh, no, okay, he did it. 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 I just suck. I, 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 no, no, no. I, I just suck. I just suck. Yeah, this is an infinite. If he, try, if he tries to jump out of that, that's an infinite. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, good game. Good game. Yeah, no, no, no legit, legit, legitimately good game. It's not funny. So if you, you if you insist on not taking the unblockable, uh, you, good game. <laughs> uh, that, that's not to say I'm buffed up too. But if I'm buffed, you, uh, uh, you're dead. This is this is an infinite. Yeah, it's really a good game. Even if you delay wake up, you're still taking this. Like delayed get up shorter long doesn't matter. Watch this, right? Delayed wake up, right? He jumps. Nope. Delayed get up. Go ahead. Uh huh. <laughs> that shit is so funny. Whether you delay tech or not, you know you're taking that. It's good. It's legitimately an infinite. Um, and so I didn't, that's not the only way I could set it up either. Like I could play setting up all for shit like this. I could just do it and just walk back and just throw it in. You let me. If you let me do this, a uh, good game. Like, if you don't interrupt me, like, you have to know, like, I'm, I'm gonna do that, right? I, I have to do some flashy-ass combos, too. Because, like, let's say it fucking, like, hits you like that, right? You see, like, your fucking life bar is fucking melting, bro? <laughs> this character's stupid. Like, yeah. I fucking love him. And that's not to mention if you're a character that's, like, a... That gets fucking... That shit jails on, so... He gets to start just doing really stupid stuff. It's fucking sick. He's a, se he's a setup character. He's hard. I think he's one of the hardest characters to play in the game. But, if you know how to set up properly with him, the character's broke. Anyways, moving on. That's why he's S-. Uh, moving on, another S- character is Collector. Um, I already described before why I believe he's S-. You guys saw me at NEC only use Collector. He literally has every single bit of Punisher. He's one of the few characters in the game with a command grab that is plus like 25 that you have to jump. And we already agreed that when you jump and he checks you, you literally lose 35% of your life unbreakable. 35% of your life unbreakable. This shit is stupid. 100% like stupid. Um, not to mention, like, both his variations are mad good too. His first and second vari variations are mad stupid for different reasons. Like, they're both broke for different reasons. 10 frame command grab? That's a mid? Hello? What the fuck? While also having the best anti airs in the game? This shit is fucking stupid. <laughs> Anyways, um, another S minus character I believe is Noob Saibot. Um, his neutral control is really stupid, and his damage output is really stupid, and his auto shimmy game is really good. Um, he just all around does a lot of damage. He has really good zoning. Uh, he's really stupid. He's just a really stupid character. Fucking stupid ass. Um, and then we have Nightwolf as an S minus character. He literally does like everything you can want an MK character to do. He's just fucking boring. He's literally like mad boring. But in terms of what he's allowed to do, uh, he's mad stupid. Uh, in terms of his auto shimmy game, his throw loop game, his damage output, he's really stupid. But he's just fair. Like, not fair, sorry, boring, out of all the characters. Uh, he just, he, he's literally just, like, just a boring character. But the character is mad stupid, mad, mad silly. Uh, we have Raiden as S minus. Discharge is really stupid. I, I still stand by that his Raijin is his strongest variation. Raijin being is the only 6 frame punish means that, effectively, every character's best footsie tool gets taken off the table when he is in Raijin mood. 
And his damage output is stupid. His button output is stupid. Stupid. He has a seven frame crushing blow combo that is unbreakable and deals 30%. And he can zone you out. He can rush you down. He just does everything. He also has real 50 50s as well. Raijin, I believe, is one of the few characters that can also go up to right here. Actually, I'm going to put him right there. He's one of the few characters that goes right there. I think he's on the lower end of this, but I think what he's allowed to do is really stupid. Like, really, really stupid. I, Raijin's out here. Character is fucking. <laughs> I fucking love this character. But he's mad boring. Don't get me wrong, he's mad boring. Like, he's actually insanely boring. Certain matchups, he actually just completely disregards you as a character. It's mad funny. Like, for example, when Raiden's fighting against, for example, this character right here, when Raiden fights against this character, he he literally only does two things. He actually, he actually only does two things. He only does, like, like charge up and down back four. If Baraka does 1-1-2, one, one, he just does discharge. If he does forward 4-4, four, four, he does discharge. He literally just cannot do anything. And this actually goes for a lot of characters. Like, Raijin, just, it's just like he literally gets to just ignore you as a character. It's just, character's hilarious. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Frost, I am going to put right here. There's a bunch of S, there's a bunch of S tier characters. I'm just putting them in, in terms of category broken. So all three of her variations, I think, are really silly. Except, sorry, except for a second variation. I think our first and third variations are really strong for different reasons. Um, and just that we don't have many Frost representatives. Uh, she's li she's literally only just an underplayed character. She's she's like she's like straight up. She's just an underplayed character. But in terms of the tools that she's allowed to do, uh, she's really silly. Uh, she's really strong. She has really good buttons, really good neutral control, really solid damage output, really good zoning, good throw crushing blow game. Uh, God like anti airs, like she has everything you can possibly ask. For. I, I I already told the chat room, you guys you guys all fucking suck. So I just I, I as far as I'm concerned, your, your opinion doesn't matter to me. And then we have Cabal, who's also S. The character is just silly. His damage output is like it's like the same reasons why I, like like Frost is good. It's like the same reasons why Cabal is good. His pressure is silly. His damage output is actually abysmal. Uh, his, his character is just fucking like stupid. I think this character is like mad dumb. Um, we'll put Shang Tsung here. Uh, we'll put Kung Lao here. We'll put Kotal Khan here. Because I'm, I'm going to start speeding shit up. Uh, Shang Tsung being there is because the character is stupid. Kung Lao, down one hat, goes without saying. Auto Shimmy Game goes without saying. Kotal Khan, the fucking buffs to him made him mad stupid. I don't know why they gave him four into a free fucking totem summon. Why the fuck did they give him that? He already got like the things he needed to be like solid, and then they gave him that already, and I was like, why? <laughs> uh, so they just literally just made you like, like, like he like exploded up tiers doing that now. Uh, we'll put Terminator here. Uh, his set play is one of the dumbest in the game, and let me think. Uh, this is not order. This is not order. This is not order. This is just tiers. This is not order. Um, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, uh, and yeah, I want to say this is your S tier, I want to say this is your S tier characters, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm reevaluating, yeah, 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 I'm gonna put him here, we'll put him here, here's his situation, what's this situation, but, uh, these are your S tier, S tier characters, alright, Cassie is S plus. Cassie is on the end of S plus, but she is an S plus character. The reason being is that she still does everything that, she, that you possibly want for her. Uh, Cassie is like like the Chun Li of the game. She's literally the Chun Li of the game. She's really stupid. She's just she's dumb. I dropped her, but like she's still a stupid character. Don't get me wrong. The only reason I dropped her is because her audio stream is unsafe. That's literally her only weakness. Which, Paolo, if we're in the chat room, please buff Cassie so that her auto shimmy is in line with every other character's auto shimmy. Just make her 111 negative 7, please, and I'll play Cassie again. <laughs> that's all I ask. Just give me negative 7. 111, that's all I want. <laughs> but. 
other than that, no, she has one of the best punishers in the game, some of the best anti airs in the game, some of the best damage output in the game. Yeah, she's fucking out here. Um, <laughs> no, I, I legitimately, legitimately, I think her one one should be um, in line with all the other characters because every character's uh, Aroshimi is safe except hers, and I don't understand why. But, but you know, it is what it is. Just give me, just give me Necro Seven. And that puts me in line with literally every other character in the game. But actually, I'll I'll actually order I'll actually order this the final tier list the the, the S plus will be ordered okay so Cassie's on the end of this Cassie's on the end of these S plus and then we have Garrus on the second end of it uh, his command grab variations are really stupid eternal variations is actually mad broken uh, his damage output is still the same his button output is still the same punish game is still the good. Mix-up game is still good. He's godlike. He's just a godlike. He's always been a godlike character from day one to the end. He's always been a godlike character. Then we have Johnny Cage as uh, the third from uh, S plus. Uh, that kind of goes. I'm, I'm sure at this point, kind of goes without saying why Johnny Cage is S plus. Character stupid. Like we, we. I I don't need to argue this, right? Like this character is S plus. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need to explain him. I'm sure we don't need to explain like his placements of how stupid this fucking character is, right? Uh, then we have Jackie. Actually, Jackie is a really, really silly character. She is really, really dumb. But her only issue is that she gets spaced out. That's literally her only issue is that she gets spaced out. Other than that, as a base character, all three of her variations are mad stupid. They're mad stupid. Like, like, no cap. They're mad stupid. And then, uh, we have Cetrion as top three. Or top three, contender. Uh, character just does a little bit of everything. She can neutralize a bunch of characters' game plans. She's hard. I, I, like, I, that's, that's the thing. I, I legitimately think Cetrion's a hard character to play. Like, no cap. I legitimately think she's a hard character to play. I just think you all suck except Dragon. Dragon's ridiculous. Dragon's actually ridiculous. You guys all suck. She's a hard character. But she's fucking godlike. She's like ridiculous. Uh, and now I guess I bet you guys are wondering who do I think is top one? Who do you guys think I think is top one? Press one for Joker. Or press one for Jackie. No, it's not Jack for Luke King. For Luke King. Oh my God, Zephyr! Thank you so much. <laughs> you actually want to know what my opinion is? You guys want to know? You guys want to know what my real opinion is? This is hard to say. I thought so. PM, I thought about this. I thought about this for a while. All right. I thought about this for a while. But I personally believe that these two are, are literally both top one. I legitimately believe they're both top one. I actually don't think, with both these characters combined, I legitimately, they're strong in completely different ways. I believe, like, n n not one is better than the other. I legitimately think they're both top one. Like, straight up, I think they're both top one. I think there's two top ones in this game, and I think it's Liu King and, jo and Joker. If I were to order this, if I were to order this, I would actually give the slight advantage to Liu Kang. I would give the slight advantage to Liu Kang. Like, just, just a very slight very very slight advantage to Liu Kang because Liu Kang as a base character in all three variations is just a little bit more complete than Joker just a, like, like just it's like literally just that one percent just that one percent better than Joker in terms of how and that's only because all his variations are complete but what, what Joker is allowed to do is insanely strong because I uh to explain Joker to people He's not inherently broken. That's not the. That's not why he's S plus. He's not inherently broken. I'll explain right here why he. Right here, I'll just show you, cause I fucking mean him. I'll show you why he's. Well, I'll show you why he's S plus. Tundra. He's. He's like yeah. He's, he's so, so, so much. So. No, Joker does not have the best set play. The best set play in the game goes to Devor. 100%. 110% it goes to Devor. But. 
So Joker has some of the has actually the best backdash in the game, even better than Garrus's, especially if you learn how to wave dash backward and forward. He has the best backdash in the game. And he has some of the best forward movement in the game. He has some of the best reach in the game. And some of the best damage output. He's one of the hardest characters in the game to play. That's one of his issues. Uh, so it's hard to say a lot of, a lot of people thought he was low tier. Because uh, they just couldn't move with him. Or they didn't know how his setups work. But he's a little technical. In terms of how he's technical, is your game plan of how... It's like you have to have a strong understanding of how setup characters work in order to play Joker to his fullest potential. Otherwise, he's not as good. If that makes sense, all right. But to explain, here's why he's here's why he's S plus, all right. So he has one of the few characters in the game that has an eight frame punish that he launches you meterlessly, which is interesting. It's really interesting, all right. He's one of the few characters that has really strong punish game from an A frame starter, right? He has a really good auto, auto shimmy game. That's one, two, three. And he has really good mid, really good standing too. The best way I describe Joker is that... Here, here. Actually, here, I'll, sh I'll show you one more thing. I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I'm going to show you guys one more thing. Swag, cash, money. Yeah, y'all know. Ninja mine. Where's she at? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nature girl. These two characters are actually essentially the same character. In terms of button placement. These two characters are essentially the same character. In terms of the buttons that they throw out in neutral. Do you understand? They just have different game plans. Cetrion is more zoning oriented. While Joker is more offensive and setup oriented. For example, that's nine frames. That's nine frames. They literally go the same distance. She gets to the range that she wants to play at is right here. Such wants to play at this range. She wants to play at that range at all times. Joker wants to play at this range at all times. Same range. They literally play at the exact same ranges. The only difference is that I have forward one. And she has forward two, right? And we have different game plans. She wants to zone more, and I want to put my traps in, close the distance to get get a little closer, right? But his pokes are good. His damage output is solid. His hit confirms are good. He has meters, good meters damage in this variation. But you're wondering, this all seems basic, right? What, we, what, what makes him S plus? And here's where I, here's where the technical part comes into play. You have to have a firm grasp of spacing with him and not just spacing with your normals spacing with your setups because if you understand how to space properly he is always allowed to reset every single situation back to neutral i'm not sure if you guys understand how strong that is in a game like mortal kombat 11 where you get to just shut down people being stupid it is insanely powerful to be able to be like wow you're fucking stupid for trying to mash here i'm going to just literally do this and if you try to sit here and do anything you're going to die it's fucking sick this is one of his primary resetting neutral tools if you space that out properly you're you're always going back to neutral you're always 110 percent going back to neutral it is fucking glorious Right? It stops people like it allows me to have to ignore like when people are just sitting here like you know doing this, pressing all kinds of fucking buttons. Like like look at my button inputs, hold up. Like if people are you know like doing shit like that and like fucking doing shit, I'm just like get the fuck back. What the fuck? He actually pokes you to death. Like that's a strong suit, he pokes you to death. Like you have to be okay with doing damage like that. Because you have to understand that the neutral tools that he does is fucking sick, right? But being able to just reset everything back to neutral is nice, and then being able to close the distance with the EX is also really nice. His zoning is pretty decent, but where he shines is when he starts establishing setups properly to close the distance. Because his main goal is to get you in the corner, but his, one of his primary issues is that he actually has a hard time putting you in the corner. Because his best corner carry is this. That's literally his best corner carry. Or this. Like, like, that's it, right? But, 
What makes him strong is the same reason why Liu Kang is also top 1. It's his crushing blow requirements. Liu Kang and Joker have some of the dumbest crushing blow requirements in the game. Even Sutrion, like, for example, one of my crushing blow requirements is literally I whiff punish you with this. If I fucking, if you whiff, you're getting deleted. When I stick this button, like, straight up, right? It's fucking sick, because for what he's allowed to do, he gets really, really nice, um, like, damage output, right? That's a really solid, like, crushing blow requirement. Having this crushing blow ready is also godlike. The thing about 2-1 uh, is that you always want to end a crowbar. Because when you end like this as Oki, he gets to always just sit here and just look at the opponent. If the opponent tries to wake up and do something random here, he can always just step back and be like, what the fuck are you doing? So that's why I like him, because every single time he knocks you down, he kind of just looks at you. He's like, what are you going to do? He just looks at you. If you do nothing, he starts to throw strike. He's pretty basic in that form, but once he gets you here is where everything comes together in this variation. Because everything doesn't come together until he gets you right here in this variation. But once he gets you right here, the pressure he gets to establish here is insane. He gets to play so many mind games on you here. He, oh my god. Like, the world is your oyster in this situation. It is fucking sick. Like, ugh. Want to see one of the mix-ups that I killed Dragon with? Watch this. So, I'm sure you guys know about his crushing blow requirement right off of this, which is to cancel the blow. This is also why he's dumb. Can, um, he gets one, he has actually one of the best comeback factors in the game. His comeback factor is even better than Johnny Cage's. But, here's one of the mix-ups that I killed Dragon with, and I also hit Ninja Killer with at Final Combat to win. Alright, watch this, watch this. Oh, yeah, you have to get hit. Wait. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, no, no delay tech. No delay tech. Uh. Gotta turn this shit off. Where is it? Where is it? Uh. Okay. Yeah, turn this shit off. Alright, so. Watch this. You noticed that, right? How it was a double explosion? Watch this. This is how I mob dragon. This is also how I killed the killer. I pushed you out the explosion. And it also disorients you. It's fucking sick. Yeah, I pushed you out the explosion and it fucking disorients you, yeah. <laughs> that shit is fucking sick. And because it's so disorienting, I like to also hide my mix-ups inside of it. Because the idea of the explosion is to hide shit. Like, get through shit like this. Like, like, that shit is mad hard to see. You just disorient them. And so, my game plan with Joker is actually to establish this crushing blow, right? I establish this crushing blow, and then once that crushing blow comes, I like to get my opponent, and I actually play masochistic a little bit. I actually get hit on purpose sometimes, just to get my life to 30%. Because when both of our life bars are like this, it's literally guess for game in this scenario. Because if I auto shimmy you here, you will die. Like if I auto shimmy you here, you're dead. 100% yeah. And if I, you know, grab you from this, you're dead, right? So sometimes I'll do shit like this. <laughs> and I'll auto shit, I'll auto shim you with that. And then you'll, you'll die, you'll 100% die. So I save, I save my game, my, my game plan is an end game game plan. But, uh... Once you have to establish this end game gameplay, it literally makes getting hit by anything like it's a 50 50 in neutral. Because if, you, if, you, if you're wrong on throw or strike, you're dead. It's fucking sick. And that's why he becomes really scary. Because if I auto shimmy with this, and let's say like I'm feeling really optimal. Like, I can fucking. I always want to show somebody something. <laughs> I hit the shit for free in tournament and I can't do it. Like that damage output is insane. And then I'm getting my beta blow back. To get meterless conversions. Because like this, this is a meterless conversion. Oh my god. This is hard.
Only in tournament, only in tournament. Sorry, not a practice mode, not a practice mode. Now, like, that damage is insane. That shit is fucking insane. But being able to just make every single situation back to neutral, putting him in the corner, going in with your setup, set playing them, ignoring the wake up to us. Not to mention that. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but on male characters, he actually gets even stronger because he gets meterless conversions on them mid-screen. I'm going to show you that. Uh... Clash Clown. Yeah, so let's we'll just pick a male character at random, right? Best choice. Everything must go. I don't need to explain why I lose top one. I'm sure you guys all know why I lose top one. He does everything. He literally does everything. He actually hasn't, like, his only weakness is that he doesn't get spaced out. But for a character that gets spaced out, he has a fucking projectile. So he can do the spacing. It doesn't fucking matter. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, mid screen, actually, so I get actually a sick ass conversion on him. On male characters, I'm allowed to do this. If you link that. 24% of breakable. If you're really nasty. If you're really nasty. Fucking love you. Really good damage. Yeah. So, like, his ability to establish pressure from going in is really insane. But, like, like I said, he's one of the hardest characters in the game to play. Because. He just. He just he's. Like, you have to. And you can't just gimmick people out with his character. Like, he specializes in playing neutral. Uh, he doesn't have anything inherently bullshit about him. But if you're a player like me that understands how to like how to take things back to neutral and uh, go with it and play footsies, then he becomes godlike. The better your footsies are with this character, the more stupid this character is. All right. The only time he becomes legitimately stupid is when his life is below 30%. That's when I think he becomes really stupid. But even then, like if you have better footsies than the Joker, I uh, know it just fucking matter. He's just hard. So, like the reason why nobody plays this character is because you have to you, you can't just do bullshit. Like you have to actually be good to play Joker. Like if you do not have good footsies or good neutral, oh you, you you're not you, this character's never gonna work for you. And that's why everybody put him so low on the tier list initially. I just like the way this character set plays you. He's fucking sick. Because he just ignores your wake up. He's like, yo, just do it. And like you have to accept that you have to be willing as Joker, you have to be willing to get hit on purpose sometimes. Like you have to purposely do things to want to get hit on purpose. Like things like this, like, I want to get hit because if this Johnny Cage does, some, does the wrong thing to interrupt me, like he's gonna fucking get launched. Cause you're gonna eat shit. So like, you, you have to have good timing with this character. And you have to have a good good idea of how setup mentality works, all that shit. Because I, I firmly believe the setup characters in this game are some of the hardest characters. In the game. His neutral's godlike, and yep, that's essentially. My final MK11 tier list. I think Liu Kang is number one. I, th I just think he's been the most consistent number one in the entire game. Um, until they nerf his one shoot to not be plus three on block, it should be fucking zero. Um, this character will always be like number one, in my opinion. But Joker's not far from him. Joker's definitely number one. Joker is just. His ability to play against everybody is really strong. Uh, I'm not ordering the whole thing, it's impossible. It's actually impossible. The characters are too good in this game. It could be high mid. I, I would actually much prefer uh, Luke Kang's one to be high mid. Not high high and plus three. I think it's just stupid. Um, but yeah, this is your tier list. The lowest tier in this game uh, is A minus. Um, sorry, if you're playing Shao Kahn, sorry, you're working the hardest. Um, Sindel is A. I want to say she's just A. Maybe she could be A plus. But I, if, if anything, if she was A plus, she would be on the end. To be honest, if anything, she would just be on the end. She's good, but she's like not that good. She's like literally looks like like all right at best. I legit think I legit think she's like the most all right character in the game. I think she's the most all right character in the game. The ninjas are A plus uh, or only A respectively. I mean, she's still bottom five. It doesn't matter if I put her down. I I, I still I, I still think she's like. Sonya, uh, she's just hard. I, I, I actually, I legitimately think Sonya's a hard character to win with. Uh, she's a difficult, she's a really difficult character. I think she's good, she's just difficult. Um, 
The S tiers can do something a little bit more polarizing than the other characters below them. Um, wait, what the fuck? Did I, why did I put Katana? Katana's actually right here. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was about to be like, Katana, get, highborn players get away with murder. Sorry. No highborn players. The character's stupid. <laughs> I was about to let her get away with murder there. Holy shit. Uh, I, I didn't even realize I put her there. I thought I put her in S minus. But you guys, I almost got away with murder there. Um, yes, Sony is in the same tier list as Scarlet. Though, I personally believe Scarlet is S. I still personally believe Scarlet is S minus. <laughs> but, stream started yelling at me, but I, I personally believe Scarlet is S minus. This will be going up on YouTube, yes. Yeah, I, I, I personally believe that uh, Scarlet is S minus. Put her ass? I think so too, actually. Bro, I, I actually think it's a little higher too. I want I, the two characters I want to remove from A. Actually, there's, yeah, there's two characters I want to remove from A. I want to move Spawn and Scarlet from A. And, and, and actually, I want to move Sonya too. I want to move Sonya to S minus. I want to say I'm not too sure about uh, Spawn yet, and I'm gonna investigate him a little bit more. But I could see Sonya, Scarlet, and Spawn out of all these characters being in S minus. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm up to these characters. I, this is like firmly my opinion. I firmly believe this character is like I already said I believe half the cast is an S tier. Like straight up, I believe half the cast is an S tier. So. <laughs> Noob is S. Uh my issue with him, Steve, is his mids. That's my only issue with him. That's one thing that he's missing. Other than that, he's perfectly fine. I think he's mad stupid. But like not having that mid is like just enough to like you know. Bro, Silver, it's A plus. It's just, it's just A plus. Yeah, 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 don't get me wrong, he's a 9 frame mid, but not having advancing mids is kind of sad times in this game, but he's okay. He's not okay, I'm sorry, he's really stupid, that's why he's S minus. I legit, like, half the cast in this game is broken, like, no cap, half the cast in Mortal Kombat 11 is broken. So, like... <laughs> Terminator's not S plus, though. he's like right below. Terminator's stupid, but uh, he still has... Um, honestly, Scar, I just think she just needs 4-2-1, um, and that's it. Like, if I were to buff, so here, so now, here would be my buff list. Alright, so now that we're done, now that we're done with the, uh, now that we're done with the tier list itself, here would be my buff list, alright? 